Welcome to High Frequency Chaos. Today, we're going to be looking at some conspiracy TikToks. Are you ready for this? Let's dive right in. Darkest Conspiracy Theories The Earth Virus Theory This theory states that the Earth is a living organism and we, you and I, the humans, are the virus. The Earth grows plenty of free food and every animal seems to balance and coexist on Earth in sort of a circle of life. For instance, bees pollinate crops, moving from one plant to the next, fertilizing each plant. It's beneficial. Even though they're taking pollen, they're still being beneficial. But humans, we seem to not benefit the earth at all. We're more destructive. We clear rainforests, kill the ocean with our plastics, puncture giant holes in the ozone with our chemicals and fuels, and we cause man-made climate disasters. We don't seem to coexist. But before I continue, question time. If aliens were about to destroy the planet and one came up to you, they chose you and said, if you show us two things on Earth of why we shouldn't destroy this planet and kill you all, what two things would you show them to save the Earth? Let me know down below. But anyways, think about the human body. When we're sick, our body creates antibodies to kill off the viruses. That's exactly what the Earth does to us, creating earthquakes, droughts, tsunamis, and other natural disasters. Let's face it, we're destructive in nature. And while a tiny bit of us do try to help the planet, the majority of us selfishly harm it. Maybe we are the virus. Dark. What are your thoughts? Do you believe there were aliens uh, that came to this Earth? And if aliens or Prometheus or these godlike figures were to give us two reasons why they should spare Earth. What would your two reasons be? You know the Mars theory? That there's aliens on Mars? Nah, there's a theory that Mars uh. was the original planet that humans were from. Okay. Then something happened that we all had to fly to another planet and live on. There used to be like civilization that lived on Mars. Now back this, uh -huh. on Mars, there's an element on the periodic table called Xenon. Xenon yeah. on Earth is only found, this is crazy, is only found after a nuclear explosion. No, no, no. Oh, that's not even the super wrong. mode button. I said, no. <laughs> what the hell? And yeah. it goes hand in hand now. What if on Mars, there was a nuclear warfare, destroyed the whole planet, but people were able to escape just in time, yeah. landed on Earth, and they had to restart from nothing. So we are the aliens. We're the aliens. What the hell? Yeah. It's real shit. Like, this element's called Xenon. It's prominent after nuclear explosion. Wait the fuck up. Have you ever heard of that before? Uh, the Xeon table? Uh, I have never heard of that. I guess I should be studying more of my science. Wait the fuck up. Wake up. Now, Pete, Old Testament map of ancient America. Hold up. All right, wake so Pete, right? I had zoomed in. Wake up. Wake up. So, what if this what it really was, bro? And if anything, right? This would really make sense. You wouldn't know why? Because what's in this area? Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. I've read every fucking theory. Yo, <laughs> these conspiracy theories are wild, but there's a lot of truth in these theories and these conspiracies, I believe. Let's keep going down this rabbit hole and see what we discover. Let's get a Joe Rogan. I've read every fucking theory on how they built those pyramids. The Great Pyramid of Giza has 2,300,000 stones in it. Some of them, uh, they weigh between two and 80 tons. Some of them are cut from a quarry that's hundreds of miles away. These things point, that pyramid is shaped perfectly. Like if you fucked up like a quarter inch in the air, a half inch here, by the time you get to the top, that thing's a mess. But meanwhile, it's not, it's perfect. It's also perfectly aligned to true north, south, east, and west. And they're not really sure how old it is. They think it's, they, they, they date it to 2500 BC. But that's just because of organic particles that they pulled from inside stones. But they, they also say that they probably could have sealed those stones and resealed those stones over time. You're dealing with like a gigantic mystery of unfathomable proportion. So that's one thing I definitely believe in. The pyramids were not created by man. I mean, they were created by man, but they were slaves to the aliens or the, Prometheus, or the Prometheuses that were here. 
um, we'll dive into Prometheus in a different time. But yes, I believe aliens did create these uh, pyramids. And that was used as the first form of electricity. And also, they were so advanced, way above, beyond us now. And I believe the government is hiding shit from us. The Darkest Conspiracy Theories, Part 2. The Bohemian Grove Club. The Bohemian Grove Club is a place located in the woods of California. It is a club filled with the world's most powerful people and the world's wealthiest. It has around 2,600 members. I'm talking politicians, actors, artists, presidents, writers, mostly anyone with a big name that possesses a lot of power. And there's still a huge waiting list of powerful people waiting to join. Each year they meet up to discuss what's gonna happen next in the world. JP Morgan was a part of this club, Clint Eastwood, and even Ronald Reagan. It's more like a cult than a club. People like Albert Einstein and Robert Oppenheimer even discussed the Manhattan Project there, which led to the world's first atomic bomb, taking the lives of millions of people. When it goes down, they worship an ancient owl god statue in which they give fake sacrifices to. Yeah, they make a human shape out of sticks and twigs and put it in the fire. My only question is, what other huge world events are being discussed and planned as we speak? You know what the darkest? Do you believe that we're all a part of this wicked chess game and that were sacrificial pawns led to the slaughter by the higher bees, the 1%, those in the Bohemian Grove? If you don't know about the Bohemian Grove, it's a place where all these elites gather, movie stars, A-less people. And these people, what they do is atrocities to children and to people. You know what the darkest conspiracy theory about aliens is? I don't know if I'm ready for it. That Earth is essentially a farm and human beings are the vessels that contain souls. And they want us because this is how they create souls. And so they're farming us. They've created us. Mm -hmm. So we started off as primates, and through some sort of genetic intervention, I'm not saying I believe this. I'm just saying that this is like top of the food chain, pull your tinfoil hat on super tight, that we they farm us, and that the whole reason why human beings are involved in this conflict, constant conflict, is, is to, it's all of it is to increase our competition with each other, increase our ability to control resources which will increase our technology which will ultimately lead to us creating this being that we're going to create this artificially intelligent super god whoa yeah. i believe that i mean the way we're progressing with ai and how it's advancing you know every day every second and every minute um these ai is advancing the technology and you know, Elon Musk is uh, even he warned about the dangers of AI. What do you think? Do you believe we're about to create a super god, a AI god? Yes, definitely. The government is always hiding shit from us. I believe that we're about 50 years before, like they have technology and, you know, in Area 51 and in their secret, secret locations and in their islands. They have all this technology. I believe we're like 80 years or so um, missing um, all this technology. They don't even hide it anymore. The season premiere of SNL with Ice Spice. Ooh, look at us, three Gen Z icons. Aren't you like 40? No, no. A long time ago, I met this guy and made a deal where I get to stay 25 years old for forever. What guy? Tall fellow, horns, red fur. I don't know, little hoods. Keen, that's the devil, dude. What? Nah, I thought it was like a Times Square Elmo or something. All right, watch this shit. You guys are not gonna believe this shit. Hold on. See this chick standing there? Shit. Don't look. See this chick standing right there? See what I'm talking about? But, uh, hold on, let me start my truck. You guys are not gonna believe this. Look at her arm. And I'm gonna zoom in a little bit for you so you can see for. Check that one. I think it's all the way zoomed in. Yeah, it is. Oh, no, there it is. There it is. 
Now you see what I'm talking about. Yeah, but hold on. I'm going to back out so I can show you guys what all this is about. Because without context, it's nothing. Um, here I go. Alright, put on my seatbelt. I'll keep this video short. Keep this chicken in mind. Car coming. Alright. Head it back out so you had Dawn and Pound. Portrait photography. It's play on words. Um, but here, look, when I back out, see this chick over here? Look to the left. Right there. See her standing there by that car talking to that old man? Look, I go up here. Look. There's this building right here. That's a courthouse. Yeah, what is or this is a building here. Yeah, Some shit. The what the fuck? There's a truck coming, so I'm gonna let him go. You know, I'm gonna go. See, I go after the truck. But I come up here around this thing. It's another little roundabout, but I'm not. I'm gonna go roundabout it. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go straight. And then after that, I'm gonna go straight again. And watch when I get up to this corner. Look at this chick over here. Did you see that? No, we didn't see anything. I'm gonna, guy go, I'm gonna go right. Bullshit him up. See, I'm gonna go right. It's one way here. Oh shit, there's my paperwork. Alright, I get down to the end of this right here. It's that used to be an old bowling alley up there. But, anyways, I get down to the end down here. See, there's a stop sign right there. You see the stop sign. Um, see this building right here? Stop. So, see, that's Newark police. But if I make this right right here, see, I'll make this right, and you guys will see exactly what I'm talking about. You're not gonna believe this shit. See, I make this right right here. <laughs> there's this roundabout right here. See that building on the right side of that roundabout? That's a uh, Lincoln County building. And see that chick right there walking? Look at that chick. Look at that chick walking out the door. See that chick? But anyways, I go around this roundabout, and then there's these yellow people signs, but the car's backing out in front of me. But look at the businesses on the right. Look over there. You guys see what I'm talking about? You see what I'm talking about now? Yeah, I mean, are you getting it? Are you soaking it all in? Yeah, you can't deny it. I have no idea what this guy was talking about. I thought... He would have led somewhere. I thought we were going to see something pop out. That was some utter nonsense. Sorry for showing that to you. Have you seen what the you theory think? about clocks? Clown? No. So when you look at a clock, it looks pretty normal. You never think anything of it. But what if I told you there's actually a really dark theory behind the idea of a clock? What? Right, you go across the clock, across the way, you see like 11 and 1, it equals 12. 10 and 2 equals 12. 9 and 3 equals 12. 8 and 4 equals 12. 7 and 5 equals 12. And then 6 plus 6 equals 12. They all equal 12. Wait, what does that mean though? Well, also think about this. When you go diagonally and look at the numbers and you subtract it, like 12 minus 6 equals 6. 11 minus 5 equals 6. 10 minus 4 equals 6. Wait, 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 what is going on? But wait, if you look at this a different way too, if you look across, 12 plus 1 equals 13. 11 and 2 equals 13. 10 and 3 equals 13. 9 and 4 equals 13. It all equals 13. So what's the theory? You look at all the numbers, right? They all... It's just weird how you go different formulations and they all equal the same. That's actually kind of scary. I don't really want to get into like the exact thing that I saw, but it is weird how everything, you know, equals the same. Comment if you guys know what that is. Dude, I don't know. Weird. I don't want to... I don't want to say. That like gave me chills just looking... Yeah, I never heard of that theory before, but I do believe that time has sped up and time is possibly an illusion because we're in the spiritual simulation or spiritual matrix what are your thoughts kevin hart may have been killed in 2019 and been replaced with a clone wait what bro the story goes that in 2019 he got in a car wreck when he was in the car with two friends mm -hmm. he had this nice muscle car and it flipped over and the top half was crunched he said it's a resurrection that's the best way for me to put it I feel like the other version of myself died in that moment. And this new version was born to understand and do better. 
And then there's this interview where he literally says that he's a clone. How do you do it? I have a clone. I, I was I was gonna say that there's two of you cats out the bag okay it's about a good three of me uh, you know we broke it they didn't want to release it yet this is major news that I'm giving you all right I'm the first person to ever use it I'm cloaked I'm cloaked I'm cloaked Now, this is all a conspiracy theory. I mean, if you just listen to his stand-up comedy routines throughout the years, like, they're a lot different than they used to be. Yeah, I believe that all that they are clones and that only the top A-list people, um, the Illuminati and those Fortune 500, like, CEOs and those who have, like, millions and billions of dollars, yeah, I believe that they have clones already for them that their conscious mind could go into a new body and they could live forever. I mean, that's, you know, what they sell you, right? Follow us, obey this God, and we will give you the whole world. You can live forever. Selling your soul. They used to meet in secret to discuss their mathematical discoveries. Only members were allowed to attend. They had a secret emblem, the pentagram. Let's see what the topic is for today. That's no surprise, right? The media, TV cartoons, since we were kids, they were conditioning us. All the sins. discovered that the pentagram was full of math magic. The two shorter lines combined exactly equal the third. And this line shows the magic proportions of the famous golden section. The second and third lines exactly equal the fourth. Once again, we have the golden section. But this is only the beginning. Hidden within the pentagram, is a secret for creating a golden rectangle which the Greeks admired for its beautiful proportions and magic qualities. The star contains the golden rectangle many times over. It's a most remarkable shape. It can mathematically reproduce itself indefinitely. All these rectangles have exactly the same proportions. This figure also contains a magic spiral that repeats the proportions of the golden section into infinity. To the Greeks, the golden rectangle represented a mathematical law of beauty. We find it in their classical architecture. The Parthenon, perhaps one of the most famous of early Greek buildings, contains many golden rectangles. are also found in their sculpture. In the centuries that followed, the golden rectangle dominated the idea of beauty and architecture throughout the Western world. The Cathedral of Notre Dame is an outstanding example. The Renaissance painters knew this secret well.
Think of a pentagram, Donald. Now put another inside, a third, and a fourth. No pencil is sharp enough to draw as fine as you can think, and no paper large enough to hold your imagination. In fact, it is only in the mind that we can conceive infinity. Mathematical thinking has opened the doors to the exciting adventures of science. Each discovery leads to many others. An endless chain. What's the matter with these doors? These doors won't open. They're locked. Of course they are locked. These are the doors of the future. And the key is... Mathematics. Right. Mathematics. The boundless treasures of science are locked behind those doors. In time, they will be opened by the curious and inquiring minds of future generations. I don't think I've ever seen uh, that cartoon. I mean, I've seen Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck, and I've watched, you know, a lot of cartoons as a kid, but I don't recall ever seeing that version or that clip. What are your thoughts about the pentagram and being the ultimate or the ultimate shape? All right, guys, uh, this is our first time back in a while with HFC content. We're going to be, be bringing you a lot more reaction videos, uh, creepy TikToks, conspiracy TikToks, and Kerry will be joining me in the next session when he's available. Uh, great talking with you and watching these crazy TikToks together. Until next time, HFC out. Stay blessed, stay safe, and it's crazy. Crazy world. Peace.